It's a wonderful art in the Christian church that has been lost now. Got to bring it back. Psalm 37, 7. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Waiting upon the Lord, we cease. And I can give you scripture after scripture after scripture. I don't need to, but I'm going to give you just one that I think is so precious. Psalm 27, 14. Waiting upon the Lord. Oh, this is so important. This is so important. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. If you want to be strong as a Christian, you have to wait upon the Lord. You all know what the Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, right? So if you want to be a strong Christian, you have to wait. How do I wait? Quite simple. I take my Bible. Look at Melissa now, this will help you. I take my Bible, I read it slowly, and while I'm reading, my heart is quickened. When my heart gets, gets quickened, I begin talking to him. But while I've been reading, I've been waiting. What am I waiting for? I'm waiting for the Lord to quicken me through his word. It says in Psalm 80, verse 18, Quicken me, and I'll call on you. Quicken me, I'll talk to you. It's impossible to talk to God till God has talked to you. Listen here. You cannot seek God till God seeks you. You cannot touch him till he touches you. So wait till he quickens you. You say, how will I know? You'll know. Everything in you will know. Every true Christian will know when God touches you. You won't have to question that. You'll just know. The second God quickens you, fellowship begins. But why do we wait? You know, Madame Guyon, a great Christian woman in France, talked about waiting upon the Lord as she would just meditate upon the scripture and just wait. Sometimes you have to wait maybe a, a whole hour. It depends on your relationship with God. There's been times I've waited longer than that. There's been times it was only minutes and he quickened me. Today I was reading the word as I do every day and about halfway he quickened me. And suddenly, my conversation became sweet and right to the point. Otherwise, it's all repetitious stuff. And repetitious stuff will wear you out. So don't say anything. Let thy words be few, you know, it says. But as God quickens you, you talk to him. And now why? The fullness of the Holy Spirit, please hear this. The fullness of the Holy Spirit and waiting upon the Lord are inseparable. I just told you earlier, if you read the Bible and only read the Bible, you'll dry up. If you only want the gifts, you'll blow up. But now, the Word, as you wait on the Lord, you're waiting on Him reading the Word slowly, and now He quickens you, and suddenly you begin to fellowship with Him at the same time. And that brings that beautiful, fresh anointing.